Welcome, 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 welcome. I'm going to do my Virgos. My Virgos. I hope everything's good. So I'm going to do your energy up top. And on the bottom, it's going to be the external energy. Okay. Just always remember that there's thousands of you. So it can go either way. You may relate to the bottom half. So, but my intention is for the fishies, not my fishies, my um, Virgos to be on top. Okay. You're battling. Yeah, I think you're, uh, you and somebody are kind of like in the battle zone. Let's just see. My Virgos. My Virgos. And that's just for some. Okay. Six of Cups reverse. Your past is coming back. But I don't think you want to put energy into it. Nope, you don't. Okay. Um... I think you found a new connection. I think you offered elsewhere. Or they did. Okay. Um, too much confliction or competition. I feel like your past came back. You said no. You didn't put the effort in. I think you got a message from somebody else. There is definitely confliction here. Okay, you're pouring out your cup to somebody. This is tricky. Um, let's... Oh. Where to begin? Tell me about the Six of Cups. Options, karma. Yeah, I know. I, I kind of feel more than one energy here. I think you turned your past down. I feel like, tell me about the Knight of Pence. Yeah, you, was, you slowly let go of something in the past. So you had somebody from your past come back and make an offer and you turned them down. You put your offer somewhere else because there's somebody else you care about. Tell me about the Two of Cups. You have a connection elsewhere. Yeah, seeing it. Well, Seven of Swords, but it's still going in this direction. So, for some, I'm telling you, you didn't take the past back. There's no way. You didn't put no effort in it. You didn't want to work. And you might even work with this person, or you did work with this person at a workplace. You're not holding on to them anymore. It, it, you know, it's it's dead. You're you've released you've released this person, but now it's saying if you didn't make an offer to somebody else, you just not taking this connection because of deception somewhere. I don't know if you think you have competition, but you're not. You're pouring your cup out. You don't you don't want it. But the tricky part is, is you still feel the connection. Tell me about the King of Coins. So that's tough because you still feel the connection. So I don't know if there was a third party or not, but like, I don't think you tell me about the Three of Pence. I'm, I don't think you put an effort into nothing. Contract, no contract. Seven of Pence, it's, it's up to you whether or not, like I said, you're going to invest time and put effort into it. But to me, I don't think so because look at, this seven of pence, they're holding one, okay? It's like they took their, they cut their loss, all right? They weren't, the situation that we're, they are involved with, you know, wasn't balanced. It wasn't grounded. So in order to ground yourself, you had to leave. And it looked like it was a possible third party anyway. I mean, look at this king. Doesn't look too happy pouring out their cup. So to me, it doesn't look like somebody wants to invest nothing. It looks like you're moving on. And it was because of a possible third party that took place at work. And if it didn't pl take place at work, it's just I, there was something that went down. It's not telling me the whole story, but it's it's clear as day. It's here. And at the bottom of the deck, the King of Cups reverse. There's no, the offer is no. There's not enough feeling. You left. 
or you left somebody and you chose somebody else. It was quite the decision that you had to make. I'll tell you that. Let's see what the en energy, the external energy is. Wait, tell me about this King of Pens real quick. The Empress. Well, yeah, whomever this Chica is, you're, you're not putting effort into it. Okay. You got the Nine of Cups, Ace of Wands reversed. So this is external energy. Somebody now feels like they missed an opportunity because it looks like they probably offered something because they felt like they missed an opportunity, but you make them happy, okay? Um, with the King of Swords here, I don't know if you were dealing with Air or Leo. It, it took somebody a lot of strength to come in, all right? At one point, you definitely broke their heart or vice versa. Well, this is just external energy. They're not really heartbroken anymore, Okay, but they're still sad. They're still sad, but it's not extreme sorrow. At one point, it most definitely was, but they're not taking a new start with something. Um, tell me about this nine of cups. Could have sworn you had that. No, I guess not. Unless it accidentally got picked back up. But they're not. It's two nines on top of each other too. And you have two sevens. <clears throat> you have two sevens as well. Um, three sevens actually. But. I think you cut your losses. It was too risky. I don't know if you got another third party down here possible, you know. It looks like this person, you know, somebody left with somebody else. And left somebody out in the cold and lonely and sad. So this person, whether it was you or somebody else, just got themselves out of a third party situation. But they still feel like they missed an opportunity somewhere, which is silly. Because if you ask me, it's not a missed opportunity. They feel like it is, but in all reality, if you're the cross watcher and this is your scenario, this is not a missed opportunity because it looks like somebody left, say, say for instance, my Virgos did this to you and it, it's the other way around. It's not a missed opportunity. They left. Okay. You're going to be okay. But if it wasn't my Virgos, like I'm saying, it can go either way, guys. This is tricky. Tell me about uh, King of Swords. To me, if somebody wants to communicate something, <clears throat> nope, they don't. They don't want the path, all right? They're, they're tired. This person's tired. They don't They don't want an offer of nothing right now. Queen of Cups reversed. This person's soul searching. Very, um, very emotional, but not, um, over emotional. Maybe karma caught up to this person, too. If they had the third party, karma could have caught up to them. Tell me about this four cups. And for others, yeah, you guys, they're not communicating with somebody. But for others, it's about having a conversation and you're dealing with a Leo. Nasty. Their thoughts are with you, though. I think that's a Virgo. They're trying to change their perspective, trying to get a new star. I think it's this person that came back around, and you're like, nah. They tried to change something with you, and it didn't happen. You chose no. Um, tell me about this Queen of Cups. I kind of feel like weird energy. I don't know if you were dealing with a Cancerian. Not like weird, weird, but like... I think they're regretting opening up the phone lines. I think they're regretting reaching out to you because it didn't happen. It 
if whomever this is for, I'm sorry, you know, but there there had to have been a reason. I, I believe there was a third party somewhere, okay? We have quite quite the um different scenarios here, which gets real tricky when that happens. So if my Virgos rejected somebody, said no for good reason, or whatever your reasoning is, okay, um, looks like this other person's pretty upset about it. But I honestly feel like there had to have been something that went down, some type of deception. That, I mean, there's no trust. And I think in another story, some of my Virgos met, said no to the old and met somebody new. Somewhere there was a third party. So these cards right here for my Virgos and for the cross watchers. So you're going to have to decipher who's who. But it looks like my Virgos are investing time elsewhere. And for some, you chose the past. But it's still super conflicted. All right, drop the fucking ego. Vulnerability is hot as fuck. Somebody has an ego issue. I don't even see it like that. So it's right now it's it's hidden. So whoever's not communicating, their ego is um super just there. Okay, it says ask a fucking expert. Don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a professional. You look like a shit show. You're a hot mess. Clean yourself up. You got a feeling you can't just shake it. The little voice inside your head says, listen to that shit. So somebody has the inner knowing, but their ego's getting in the way. So this connection, like I said, is still there, even if it was rejected. The connection's still there. But somebody's ego's getting the best of them and can't trust again. And I think this person feels like they need to talk to somebody because they're sad or literally like somebody's talking to the wrong people. Like their friends or something could even be this person self-sabotaging this connection. But I don't know what went down in the past. So, I mean, it, ultimately, it's, it's really up to you guys and what direction you're going to go with this, okay? But if you're letting your ego get in the way of a beautiful connection, then that would be a shame. But I don't know whose side it's on. So that's that. I wish you the best. I love you guys. Bye.